a holiday weekend we won't soon forget. Some calling this the storm of the century. And here in the North Country, conditions quickly deteriorating, leaving travelers scrambling to get out in time for the holidays. I'm very excited to get out <laughs> First time home in seven months. Uh, actually something a lot of my buddies didn't have the opportunity to do. So they were getting deployed like right away. So I'm really lucky to be able to um, just take this take this little bit of time with my family. Jefferson County under a blizzard warning through Sunday. Heavy snow and high winds making things downright dangerous. The sheriff's office warning roads may become impassable. Crews here hoping for the best, but prepared for the worst. Looks like we're going to get an abundance of uh, rain, snow, sleet, and especially wind, which is probably the worst case scenario we could always have. When that happens, we want to be right there on top of it. For those who have been able to get in and out of the North Country before this storm, consider yourself lucky. As conditions continue to go downhill, getting where you need to go by air or car will likely be impossible. We can't be every minute on every section of road. So, and cycle times of plows are about two, two and a half hours. So if you don't have to be on the roads, you can delay the Christmas season for another week or a half a week. We appreciate that, especially when the weather deteriorates. But those who still have big travel plans this weekend are trying to stay optimistic. I'm visiting family from Guam uh, in Delaware, and I have a friend from Guam who is stationed up here, so I took a quick trip up to see them. I'm supposed to fly out on Saturday, so with the weather advisory, I'm hoping it's all cleared up by then uh, so I can get back to my family for Christmas. If you don't absolutely need to be out, you're encouraged to stay home. A no unnecessary travel advisory remains in effect. Reporting from Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello.